The annual feast of the Shrine of Our Lady of Madhu takes place on the 15th of August annually. All year long, Mother Mary's life is celebrated here, but the grandest celebration of all is held in August, which coincides with the feast of Mother Mary's Assumption to Heaven. The Holy Mass was presided over by His Excellency Most Reverend Dr. Brian Udaigwe, the Apostolic Nuncio of Sri Lanka, who was invited by Most Reverend Emmanuel Fernando, the Bishop of Mana Diocese, Reverend Dr. Raymond K. Vikrama Singha, the Bishop of Gaul, Bishop of Andhradupra Diocese, Reverend Don Norbert Marshall Andradi, and other bishops were present for this occasion. Sri Lanka. I recognize you, my dear brother bishops. I recognize the civil, administrative, political, military, police, judiciary authorities. It is good to note that beyond Catholics, there are also people from other religions who are here today. Our Blessed Mary, our Blessed Mother, Virgin Mary, intercedes for all of us. I greet all of you in the name of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. We cannot forget the effects of the 26-year civil war, which has left both physical and emotional scars. I had heard and read about the war many times, but my pastoral visit to Jaffna Diocese about two weeks ago, gave me the opportunity to see more closely the effects of the war on people and on abandoned houses and property. Let there be no more war, but peace, love, and tolerance among all, irrespective of race, ethnicity, religion, language, and opinion, because peace is not simply the absence of war. It is time for reconciliation. We commend the authorities for the efforts being made along this line of reconciliation. We can remember meeting of the president with Tamil parliamentarians representing the northern and eastern provinces, and so on. At the same time, we pray and hope that the process will adequately address the known troubling cases that the president himself clearly mentioned in his speech to the parliament about a week ago. I noticed that Sri Lankans are generally a good and tolerant people. You should not allow the few unscrupulous elements that are indeed a minuscule minority to negatively influence and disorient you. It is unacceptable for any religious leader to take advantage of the medium, respect, and privilege accorded to them to denigrate other religions. Religious leaders of all the religions should lead by example and should be unifiers and not agents of division. Dear brothers and sisters, as a pledge of the solicitude and spiritual closeness of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, at this significant moment, at the end of the Eucharist, I will gladly impart his apostolic blessing to all of you who are taking part in this Marian pilgrimage. May Our Lady of Madhu always intercede for you and your families. Amen. President Ranil Vikramar Singh had joined the occasion as well. Madhu Mata Avagi Utsavya, Ape Jati Utsavya Katiata, 
We consider the festival of Our Lady Madhu as our national festival. The government has a duty to protect it, develop it and provide all assistance to ensure it prevails. Last year, in the middle of an economic crisis in the country, an unexpected number of people arrived in this holy land. They came and prayed especially that we be saved from the crisis in the country. An express train service will be launched on the September 15th to Tale Mannar from Colombo and vice versa. We have also taken steps and given approval to get a new sugar factory here as well. Not just ministers but you all as well should come together to develop this area. You will receive Our Lady Madhu's blessings in this regard. We plan on making this area a great one. We will inform further on this later. Following the conclusion of the Mass, the procession carrying the statue of Our Lady Madhu took place. Thereafter, devotees received blessings from the statue. Many people from around the island were present at the shrine of Our Lady Madhu to receive blessings. <laughs> 